Influencer. Olivia Pope, because she was our example of advisor on whenever the first day was that we that we did this, and so my show was just asking, is there is like a is there a is there a celebrity um, who's got influence that we could all know about? And she was suggesting Melly, who if you followed Scandal, you'll know. Apparently, this is by the way, this is all we watch. We could have think of all the movies we could be seeing. Think of all the amazing obscure TV programs we could be diving into. But no, we, all we do is watch one Scandal episode after another. Anyway, the president's wife, Melly, is apparently a great influencer. So if you know Scandal, Melly is a good example. But I was just thinking, it's actually hard to name a celebrity that sums up influencer because the way in which it shows up is so different person to person to person to person. I mean, yes, influencers influence people. If you are an influencer, you think about momentum and you think about repercussions and you think about action. And the moment you do that, you bump into all these other people who could either be helping you or not helping you. And you're really good at figuring out how to get them to want to help you. But some people who are influencers do it through uh, passion and persuasion. Um, some are assertive, but some don't look that way at all. It's like in the panoply of influences I have known. The first one that comes to mind for me is my daughter, Lilia. Lilia, when she was, I have two kids, Jack and Lilia. When, and Jack isn't this way at all. Like Jack is a, is a, is a rule fo follower, uh, sleek structure. Um, he likes to take care of people. He's like very, he's very much like that. Lilia, at the age of three, Right, she's lying in her bed and she looks up and her mother leans over her and the mum's necklace kind of hangs down like this. And Lilia, I can still remember this like it was yesterday, looks up at the necklace and very calmly and with a slight smile, just says, that's a lovely necklace, mummy. And, and you knew that she didn't want the necklace. You knew that she knew that she was sowing just a little bit of goodwill with her mother because then she might be able to get her mother to do something <laughs> that she wanted her to do later on. And you go, wow, how early does that understanding of goodwill and investment in someone else start? Now, Lilia isn't aggressive at all. She's not really particularly persuasive. She's not necessarily very confrontative, but she is able just all the time to seemingly get people to just want to help her on a whole bunch of different things. And I remember we had a goal setting session with her teachers one time, I think it was, she was five years old, maybe six. And um, she'd written the goals that, she was supposed to write the goals for the semester, so she'd written her goals. The first one was, was learn, to, uh, learn to write better, but that was fine. Uh, the second one though was stop fooling the teachers. That was her goal at five years old, stop fooling the teachers. And of course, I howled, I thought it was hysterical that that was her, that was her goal for the semester. So I went back home and in probably not a great parenting move, I went to Jack and said, um, hey Jack, you wanna know what one of Lilia's goals is for the coming semester? And he said, yeah, sure. And I said, it was, um, it was stop fooling the teachers. And I can remember that he, he didn't laugh. I thought he would laugh. He didn't laugh. There was this sort of stunned silence. And then he broke it by saying, with this expression on his face, he just said, you can fool the teachers. And, and, and it wasn't like he wanted to know how you would do that. It was almost instead like he just couldn't even conceive of a universe in which that was a possibility. You don't fool the teachers. The teachers are there to be, to, uh, to be responded to and you follow the rules of the teachers. So that kind of difference in orientation and that's not a girl thing versus a boy thing, it's a Lilia thing in this case versus the Jack thing, but it starts so early, this, this innate understanding that some people have that you can sow goodwill with other people and move them to action. Yes, you want action, but then you figure out your way to get those people to do what you want them to do. And sometimes it shows up like Melly on Scandal, who's always sort of charming her way around. Sometimes it shows up like, Lilia, who's sowing goodwill, um, sometimes it shows up really different. Um, 
Christian on our team, Christian's an influencer, Christian knows who he is. Um, every conversation with Christian is a sale. I don't mean that in a bad way. Like every conversation, he's trying to move you to a close. He's trying to move you to a close. And Christian, like all influences, is at his most powerful, not when he hides that he's got an agenda, like when he's really transparent about his agenda. Influencers have an agenda. If you're an influencer, you've got an agenda. Deal with it. You've got an agenda. That doesn't mean you're manipulative at all. It means you've got an agenda and you want to move someone to action. Christian's actually at his most powerful when he's totally transparent about what his agenda is. And then when the other person can sort of get on board with it. That way, we don't feel like you've just fit us into your world. You feel like you've made us a part of your agenda. Okay, that's kind of cool. Which leads to another thing for influencers, by the way. You're, you're most powerful, you're, you're most persuasive when you can tie your agenda to a mission. If you tie your, if ever we think, by the way, that your agenda is just you, yeah, boy, that's harder to get on board with that, isn't it? But when you can tie your agenda, which you should be transparent about, to a mission that we're all a part of, oh my word, suddenly you're like this hugely powerful force who not only dreams of some bigger, better world and says, wouldn't it be great if, but you're the person who goes, commit to act, commit to act, commit to act. And so the more vivid your tying of agenda to mission is, the more powerful you'll be as a force for good in the world. So you got, you got a Lilia, you got a Meli, you got a Christian, you got a Jakai. Jakai is a boy, by the way, uh, but he's the one on our team who does the cartoons. Some of you have been writing that, although you like these videos, <laughs> the real joy for you is the cartoons um, in the middle of them. Well, that's Jakai. He's got a really unique sensibility and just a, a lovely, quirky, um, witty view of the world. And I was just talking to him a few minutes ago and he was like, hey, you might want to mention that my top strength role is, is, is influencer. And as he was saying that, I couldn't, you know, he couldn't help but think he, he is so different from Christian and he's so different from Lilia. Jakai doesn't try to persuade you at all, but somehow, and I worked with him for, I don't know, maybe 15 years, somehow we all want to do Jakai's bidding. We aren't even sure what his bidding is, <laughs> but we all want him sort of on our team and we want to do what he wants us to do. I don't, it's like jujitsu. I don't know how he does it. it. It's like he's somehow reached into our soul and we are committed to act in a way that he would want us to act. Now he's not, he's not Christian in the sense he's not persuasive. He's not trying to move you to a close. It, it, it doesn't feel like that, but it does feel like momentum. There's always action. In point of fact, I was actually going to bring him up anyway on this because he, um, if you like his cartoons and his sensibility, um, great. He's also a documentarian. Um, one of his very, very, very best friends growing up um, called Omar had sickle cell anemia and struggled with it his entire life. And so Jakai took, in the spirit of finding things that you love in what you do in life, he took a sabbatical from our company to go and make a 18 month documentary on his friend Omar. And it's called Spilled Milk. So if you wanted to see Jakai's beautiful attention on his lovely friend Omar and, and, and to see um, how that plays out, then, then go to uh, spilledmilkmovie.com and you can watch the entire movie for free, spilledmilkmovie.com. And um, anyway, I got a note this morning, just this morning, Omar died this morning. And, um, ah, sorry, um, I didn't know him, but it's such a, this whole thing is I see you, I love you, right? Could there be a more beautiful way to see another person's uh, being in the world than to follow them around for 18 months and just see how they deal with a, an affliction that um, is not their fault and they just have to deal with that challenge. And it's a beautiful, very kind of extreme example of one person seeing another person's life. Um, By the way, 
why for me after watching spilled milk i said to myself how what can i do to help because i think that's his expression that was it's not just following it's not just an i see you i love you it really was Jakai's beautiful expression of influencer. Oh, it's so right. Nobody, nobody, you know, who knows about sickle cell anemia? Very few people. Well, so Jakai's yeah. way of getting people no, to move. No, that's such a great point. Yes. It's like, because sickle cell anemia is, as you probably know, it's a, um, it's a disease which uh, disproportionately affects the African-American community. And, and so, perhaps as a consequence is that is, is grossly underfunded. The research is underfunded. We should know an awful lot more. There should be a lot more treatments. Um, and as you were saying, his way of influencing you or me to do more to help isn't to persuade in the traditional sense. It's to influence using whatever means he has at his disposal, which in his case is storytelling, artistry, and filmmaking. All to say, if you have influencer in your top one or top two, then take it incredibly seriously because you are a very powerful force. You may have quiet power like Jakai does. You may have persuasive power like Christian does. You may have charming power like Lilia does. You, your power manifests differently. But you have great power, so please make your agenda clear because then we'll trust you more and then tie your agenda to a mission because then you'll be one of the most powerful forces to make it actually come true. Um, that's really all I wanted to share. And Jakai, if you're watching this, I'm sending you and your fam loads and loads and loads of love.